Alright guys, and welcome to this week's episode of Sunday Storytime. Now this one was requested by one of you guys on Facebook, and I'm very glad you did because it's a very interesting topic. Now I'm going to be talking about what ways can TDU3 worry the Horizon franchise? Now if you didn't already know, the actual trademark for Test Drive Unlimited 3 or the Test Drive name actually got passed to a company a few months ago I believe, so that's what I've been hearing and if that is the case then I want to see these things in the game. So as we all know, Test Drive Unlimited is all about the location because the map is one of the most famous things about Test Drive games. It was one of the biggest maps ever in a game in TDU 1 and then we got both Ibiza and Honolulu or Oahu whatever it is in TDU 2 which is freaking crazy because it took you around about 59 minutes to get around Ibiza in one of the last races on that before you got to Hawaii and then it takes you about an hour to get around freaking Honolulu which is bloody crazy it is blooming crazy but the place the perfect place which suits the TDU environment is the United Arab Emirates aka like Dubai and the surrounding areas they are made of money over there and Test Drive is all about having a lot of money and big fancy cars so it, it is Test Drive was made for Dubai or should I say Dubai was made for Test Drive it's unbelievable seriously that would be an incredible incredible area because as I said it's perfect for big fancy houses it'd be great if you can get like a house or like a room in that massive hotel along the beach side and everything that'd be insane plus it's got a lot of diverse areas as well for example like the desert the sand dunes the beaches the water and amazing driving roads because if you watch Mr JWW's channel then you might have seen him a couple of months ago in Dubai in a Ferrari 458, no a Ferrari 488 I believe, I apologise, and a McLaren 650S. So we're both spiders and they took it up this road and I think that was the road that Chris Harris and Matt LeBlanc went on in the latest episode of Top Gear. So yeah, <laughs> I would really love to see it in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates because it's a crazy crazy cool area. Plus another thing I'd like to see is built in tracks just like TDU2. I'm pretty sure they had it in Test Drive Unlimited 1, yes they did actually, but yeah that would be that would be so cool because it would be kind of like the crew at the same time and also kind of like Forza Horizon, it's kind of like Horizon for like the sort of oh my god wow factor of the location but it's got like the variety as well of the crew, I'm not saying Horizon doesn't have variety because that's one of the best things about Horizon is the variety but Considering the fact that it would be a bigger map than Horizon, you're going to need to jam pack a hell of a lot more like variety in there and a lot more different locations. So yeah, definitely if the makers are watching this, and it would be greatly appreciated if you can send this video to them guys, then please, 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 please blow them in to us in the account. So next thing I'd like to see is more customization options and just a more general car variety because if you're a millionaire I think you should be able to do whatever you want with your car whether that's blooming buying Lamborghinis to store away or freaking blooming making race cars and stuff like that or even bring in like tuners and everything like that bring in like blooming Rocket Bunny bring in Liberty Walk bring in blooming any other aftermarket parts and stuff properly go after Forza this time seriously I mean I know test drives more like you drive stock cars and you just enjoy the cruising and the racing and everything like that but I'd love to see a lot more customization options in it because that's the one problem I had with Test Drive Unlimited 1 and 2 I kind of felt as if everyone's cars was the same if you know what I mean and like the actual games and stuff you've got online yeah you could change the interior and stuff like that in terms of colour but it doesn't really feel like your own if you know what I mean because you'll know there'll be another person out there with that colour and spec now speaking of interior I'd love for customizable interiors as well because especially if you bring in aftermarket parts like blooming god knows what the sparkle steering wheels, Momo steering wheels etc you could also change around your seats for like Recaros and blooming the dashboard itself put like carbon fibre and everything on it that would be awesome I'd love all these features in there and it would be kind of like a blooming stick up the arse to Forza but yeah it would be kind of a tall order I must say the only reason why I'm saying this is to get a little bit of 
competitive going because Horizon right now doesn't really have any rivals in my opinion so it'd be great to see like a proper rivalry going between Horizon 3 and like test driving limited theater will probably be Horizon 4 by the time the game comes out. And as I said, more car variety where it's bringing in like GDM cars, more muscle cars, blowing god knows what, just anything at all, like proper off-roaders, proper track day cars, like a blooming god knows what, like a proper focused race car, like a P1 GTR, an FXXK, etc. That'd be fucking amazing. Now this is probably one of the most obvious ones that you'll be expecting me to say. A major handling overhaul. We need this. We need it so badly after Test Drive Unlimited 2. The first one was okay, but Test Drive 2 let it go big time. It was very, very twitchy and not engaging one bit because it kind of felt like the crew in some ways in terms of the handling. It was pretty numb. <laughs> it was pretty damn numb, but I love it to be a lot more like driver focus, a lot more in control. And also, better for drifting as well, man. Seriously, I mean, I did want to drift my cars in some of the mountain roads, and it did prove to be quite a challenge because the cars could easily just snap out and just spin around. That is one of the most notorious things about TDU2. And also, car tuning. I'd love there to be like a proper car tuning section, yet again, for more individuality for the game. Now, I know storylines aren't exactly the high key with test drive games, but. I kind of like it to stick to the formula of the past games, but can I put a little bit more in there? Because I've come up with a kind of basic idea right now, let me know what you guys think. But you're going to start from the bottom, tier to tier, just like the other test drive games. But here's my idea here, put a YouTube twist on it, kind of like your car spotter on YouTube at the start and you're well, maybe making videos and stuff like that to try and get noticed and then a big guy from like a big like racing corporation and stuff like that or a big racing event invites you in. It's kind of like Horizon 1 I must say but except from a music festival it's a proper racing organisation um, which is set in Dubai which takes place all around Dubai and basically what happens is you're running through the sort of championships that you did in Test Drive Limited 2 and then at the end there's a big payoff with like a big gumball type of event for like a big race around the map and everything, that would be insane. Yet again, as I said, it's kind of similar to Test Driver Limited 2 and Test Driver Limited 1, but that formula worked pretty well in my opinion because you didn't have to do the championships um, like all the time and everything like that. You could just like go around and drive around and everything just like the Horizon games, but obviously if you needed to progress you can go through, but another thing is improvements on side missions because I kind of felt they were a wee bit meh in previous games but if they've done all that, if they've done like a proper rising star thing again but put a YouTube twist on it. Now this one is quite personal to me because one, I like to get great thumbnails for you guys and two, whenever I'm not recording and stuff like that, I'm normally just driving around in a game anyway and I like to take nice pictures. So yeah, an improved photo mode would be good because the ones in previous games weren't great, it was basic. It was basic bitch, honestly, that's what you've got to say. Um, but if they kind of adapted like the new Gran Turismo Sport sort of thing mixed with Forza, like the easiest of Forza but with like the features of Gran Turismo, then that would be incredible because if it is going to be set in Dubai, it's got stunning areas and I'm sure it'll have stunning cars in the games as well. So yeah, I'd love to freaking have that, like an improved photo mode because yeah, I just, that's what I do. I love spending time taking photos of cars, man. And while you are cruising around taking photos and that, you obviously want a great soundtrack. Now, Horizon has kind of let it slip for me because in the first game it was properly hyped up to be like a proper music festival. You only had one hub, which was the festival, and everything was dotted around it. It's not in like one garage or anything like that. So that's the one thing that I've kind of got a problem about with the, the New Horizon games. It's that it's not really brought the music side of things into it anymore. Yeah, it still has, still has good music, but at the same time, Horizon 1 soundtrack will never be beaten in my opinion. It's fucking brilliant because you get like the Black Keys, you get Nero, you get blooming tons and tons and tons. Honestly, they're really, really good soundtrack. Horizon 3 is probably the best one after Horizon 1 and then it's 2 because 2 is meh. 
to the most, honestly, but Horizon 3 is okay. So you could bring in like Progressive House, EDM, Rap, Rock, Drum and Bass, etc, etc, but the one thing which I think EA get bang on is that they bring in proper popular songs which everyone knows. So I'd love to see like some Pendulum in there, I know they're kind of old now, but maybe some Knife Party. Um, Pendulum apparently are coming back, so that'd be good. Um, but bring in like just anything that's hot right now, honestly. Maybe even some like non copyright sounds like well, when the website which is on YouTube, some Monster Cat songs and everything. That'd be cool. Just kind of like the underground of the dance scene and just, just pff, anything at all, man. And the last thing that I want is improved online servers and features because in Test Driver Limited 2, I think it was, it was kind of crap for online servers and everything like that. People used to drop out all the time and like it wasn't really a smooth experience, let's just say that. But if they properly have dedicated servers and just pump up the actual server power and everything like that, then that would be great. And have more people being able to actually get into one session together, that would be amazing. Another thing I'd love to see in terms of features online is clubs. I'm pretty sure we had that before, but make them bigger. Uh, also, can we throw parties at our mansions? That would be cool, like invite your friends over and online and you could do more with the actual avatar and everything. Like, obviously I'd love to see a lot more customization options with them. Keep the plastic surgery thing, that was amazing. Uh, more clothing options, more modern style and everything. Um, and just have some fun with the characters, man. But this thing is what I want most in terms of online. Properly organised car meets in which we can actually walk around because that was the Achilles heel with the car meets in Horizon. You could just drive in and then just select people's car. I personally thought you could actually get out of the car and walk around. That would be an amazing feature. So there we go guys, that is my wish list for Test Driver Limited 3. Let me know yours in the comment section below. While you are down there, a link is always great and subscribe to the channel for more racing game content. I'm really looking forward to Test Driver Limited 3. I don't know when it's going to be announced, I don't know when it's going to come out, but my guessing is around about 2019, 2020, so we're still a few years off, but I kind of wanted to get this video out there to give them ideas, so yeah, Dubai would be great, more customization options would be great and just make it an overall better game man so yeah thank you very much for watching guys i shall see you in my next video bye bye